Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Juice Baseball channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Toronto Blue Jays Legends Fantasy Draft Series here on MLB The Show 24. It is the start of a new year. The start of an absolutely fresh year where we are coming off our first World Series of the season, the series, World Series of the series. In year number one, we won 70 games. Embarrassing, vowed never to happen again. We went into that offseason, we signed a bunch of players, we came back the next year in year number two, and we improved by 30 games and won 100. And then went on to win the World Series. And now it is year number three of the series. This is what our pitcher rotation looks like. Johan Santana, Randy Johnson, Jose Fernandez, the defending Cy Young winner, Bob Gibson, and Pedro Martinez. The bullpen is Vita Blue, John Smoltz, Felix Bautista, Goose Gossage, Raleigh Fingers, and Mariano Rivera. We brought in Raleigh in free agency to add to this bullpen because we needed to move Felix out of there. Well, out of the setup role because he was getting <laughs> he was getting destroyed basically. So we had to we had to move him out of there, out of the important roles. And then in the lineup we've got new addition Joe Morgan. On the squad, we've got Cal Ripken Jr., uh, who had a crazy postseason. Jeff Bagwell, Frank Thomas, Bo Jackson, Carlos Beltran, Mike Piazza, Bryce Harper, and George Brett. Those, those are the people we have on the team as the starting lineup. And then you got off the bench Josh Gibson, Joe DiMaggio, Tony Gwynn, Nomar Garcia Parra, Parra, David Ortiz, and Jackie Robinson. That's our bench, and this is our team for the lefties as well if you care. So we're going to be doing opening day against the, the uh, Angels today, and then we're going to be simulating deep into April, probably probably all of April, actually? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We'll, we'll wait and see, but we are going to do opening day against the LA Angels, play the full game, because I want to rock these new City Connects. I want to, I just, I haven't used them yet, so I want to, I want to rock them. And I don't know, does the, uh, did the Angels have a City Connect this year? They do. We might as well go opening day City Connect for both teams. Why not? Let's get into it, though. On the road, in Anaheim, Johan will get the start, even though technically jo Jose Fernandez probably should be the starter since he's the defending Cy Young winner, but Johan is going to get the start in game number one. This will be our lineup for game number one. We've got... Morgan at the one playing second base, Cal Ripken playing shortstop, Bagwell at the first base position playing uh, hitting third, Thomas in the cleanup, Bo Jackson left, Carlos Beltran center field, Piazza at catcher, Bryce Harper in right field, and then George Brett at third base. You can kind of get a sneak peek of who's on this Angels team before we load in, but we will obviously get more familiar with them as we go through the innings. But here we go, game number one of year number three, Johan Santana on the mound. Let's go get a W. Start this year off right. We, I mean, we are the defending champions. The crowd is amped up, ready to get this season underway, as are we. Back with more in a minute. Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Los Angeles Angels. John Chabi and Chris Singleton on the call. So the Toronto Blue Jays with lofty expectations this season. And why not? They're the defending World Series champs. Singy, it's become so hard in today's game to go back to back as champions. Why do you think that is? Boog, I think it's because of the competition level and the parity that we're seeing in baseball. But yeah, you're right. It is very rare. The Yankees won three years in a row from 1998 to 2000. But over the next 20 seasons, nobody else was able to repeat. I think there's less of an imbalance at the top. And teams can compete by combining good internal development with smart, well-timed moves to bring in help from the outside. And once you hit the postseason, anything's possible. First pitch coming your way next. Mm -hmm. 
So almost ready to get underway and getting a start for the Angels, Don Sutton. And he's a guy that... Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, opening day of year number three. Hope you're all excited to get started here. We got a new lease on life, a couple of new players. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're the defending champs. Not starting off with a, a bang there because uh, Joe Morgan flies out to right field, but I'm still excited. And we have a guy in Cal Ripken Jr. who had just an unbelievable postseason. You could argue that Cal Ripken Jr. was the reason we won the World Series last year. Now, it was obviously a group effort. Our pitchers uh, pitched very, very well, and the rest of our lineup hit very well for the most part. But Cal Ripken Jr., in the biggest moments, was hitting home runs. And that is now, when you think of Cal Ripken Jr., you obviously don't think of immediately power. Like, you don't think of a big power guy like Jeff Bagwell. You think of Jeff Bagwell, you think of power. But Cal Ripken Jr., you don't think of that, at least not initially. Uh, but he was in those simulation games, he was just rocking home runs. And it was crazy. I couldn't believe it. So, if you want to go back and watch that episode, it is the most recent postseason episode. And that's going to get through past the third baseman and the shortstop. I didn't think that was going to get, I thought that was going to get caught by at least the third baseman. It is a base hit, though. Bagwell starts the season perfect. And now it's Frank Thomas. <clears throat> what can Frank Thomas do? Not swinging that pitch, that's for sure. Ooh, he's almost a career home run number 600. It'd be awesome if I could get that done in today's episode. But we'd have to hit two home runs in today's game, and I don't know if that's going to be possible. It could be, I guess. It's It's been done before. We got the bases loaded. Bases are juiced for Bo Jackson. In year number one, Bo Jackson was my most consistent hitter. Kind of fell off. I don't want to say f he didn't fall off. He just wasn't my most consistent hitter in year number two. We'll see what happens here in year number three. Maybe he can come back to form. At least I can come back to form with him. That is going to be a base hit. I'm not going to send everybody. It's only going to be one RBI. Because I want to keep those bases loaded. You never know when a Grand Slam could pop its head. The salami is always on the table. Carlos Beltran. I, I toyed with the idea of moving on from Carlos Beltran. We talked about that at length in the offseason episode. He just didn't perform very well in the postseason. And that's not his fault. That's my fault. I should not have... That was a pitch that was so well... So easy to hit that I just bounced on the ground for some reason. Because I'm, I'm bad at this baseball game. So that's not Carlos's fault. I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to take that as his fault. My man Corbin Carroll trying to bunt to lead off the bottom of the first. Wild scenes. And he swings and misses past the slider. Johan starting the season with a big strikeout. Last time we pitched with Johan Santana in an actual game, a full game, he was really, really good. So I'm hoping he continues to do that and just beating the other Jackie Robinson. Just beating the other Jackie Robinson. Now it's time for Lou Gehrig, who's hitting the three-hole for the Angels. Stares at a fastball, and we'll see if we can get a slider just like we got Corbin Carroll. There it comes, and he does. He swings and misses over the top of it, and that is a quick inning for Johan. Expertly done, and now it's time for Mike Pizza to lead off the second. No, ooh, I... I'm embarrassed to say that that almost got me. <laughs> I am embarrassed to say that that pitch almost got me. That was almost certainly a ball the entire way. Whoa, was not ready for that fastball to be up in the zone like that. Okay. Don Sutton's got a little bit of gas behind him. We'll see if we can counteract that with a big hit. Into center field, but it's not going to be anything dangerous. Caught. I think that's Jung Ho Lee out there in center field for the Angels. And here he is, the newest member, one of the new members of the Toronto Blue Jays. It is uh, Bryce Harper, the young, prime Bryce Harper on the Nationals, not the old stinky one that's on the Phillies. This is the prime, prime time Bryce Harper. The one that at one point was thought to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. But unfortunately, he grounds out in <laughs> his debut. So maybe not great. Maybe, maybe not great. Good thing we already put up a run. Oh, speaking of a run, <clears throat> Don Sutton left a knuckle curve hanging. 
Santa Maria. George Brett sent that to the moon. Not the guy that I would expect to get our first home run of season three. But I'm not mad at it. I mean, that knuckle curve just hung in the air. And George Brett said, thank you. Takes it to the moon. And the Blue Jays have an early 2-0 lead. Great defensive play by Matt McClain at second base. He may be short, but he's got spunk. That was a crazy athletic play. That should have been a base hit. Leaps into the air, and he's got it. Backhand, too. That's pretty impressive. Billy Williams will lead off the bottom of the second for the Angels, and Santana blows a fastball by him. He's got 504 career home runs. Impressive. But he can't handle the Santana slider. And that's another strikeout for Johan. He's got three on the day. Brian McCann is next up. Will he get a hit? We will find out. The slider. Strike three. Got him looking. He McCann't get a hit. And that's strikeout number four. He's angry at the umpire, but it was the right call. Key Brian Hayes is hitting the six hole for the Angels, and he misses past a fastball. Let's go sinker, see if we can get him chasing, same with the slider. And no, he doesn't go after it. To be fair, that was pretty obvious it wasn't going to be where I wanted it to go, but we'll go back to that area with a circle change. And that got him swinging, so three up, three down, line him up, knock him down. Johan is on fire to start this one. Cal Ripken Jr. leads off the top of the third for the Blue Jays. Can we add any more runs to this early lead we got rocking here? Ripken sends that to deep right field, but Corbin will be there to grab it. All right, and now it's time for Buff Bagwell. Snuck a base hit past the third baseman in the shortstop for his first hit. Ooh, jam me inside low. Not a great swing. Good pitch. And that'll be uh, Jackie Robinson grabbing that one. Now it's time for Frank the Tank. Frank Thomas, top of the third, 1-1 one, one count. And Frank going low. He's got that to center field, but Jung Ho Lee really doesn't have to move except for a couple of paces to his left. And he's got that for a quick third inning. Matt McLean hitting seven and playing second base for the Angels. We already saw him earlier when he made that crazy athletic play at second base. But he sends that pitch to deep center field for Carlos Beltran to grab. And it's Nick Senzel. Talk about former Cincinnati Reds. You got Matt McClain and then coming up with Nick Senzel. Kind of wild. But what does Senzel have what it takes to get on base against Santana, who is cooking right now? He fouls off the circle change. You may even say he foul tipped that circle change. Curveball time. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Johan Santana, strikeout number six. Are we in the presence of greatness here on opening day? Jung Ho Lee will send that to Bo Jackson in left field, off the glove. Is that going to be an error? He's safe at second. Bo Jackson off the glove. What are they ruling? What do they rule it? They ruled it a hit. They ruled it a hit for Jung Ho Lee, even though it came off the glove and off the arm, really, of Bo Jackson. So what could have been a really good, maybe possible perfect game. Oh, Bo, you had a really inaccurate throw there. Now leads to a single and an RBI. Oh, Bagwell, get there. Get that ball to him. He's out. Yes. A couple of rough plays there. Sloppy base, a sloppy fielding for the Blue Jays there in the, that third inning. And well, I know it's early. It was only the third inning at that point, but I mean, still, Johan was pitching so well that you never know. Maybe that could have been a no-hitter in the wings in a perfect game in the wings, but it's not to be now. This, the no-hitter still could have happened, but not the perfect game if they would have called it a, an error. Oh, that's okay. At some point, I'll, hit, I'll pitch a perfect game. It will happen. I promise you. I promise you it will happen. I will pitch a perfect game in one of my episodes of one of my series. Beltron coming off of the 
Bo Jackson fly out to right field. He gets a double. It's a good way to bounce back. Good way to bounce back. And now it's time for Mike Piazza. 0 for 1 today, but maybe he can get an RBI. Not swinging at that. Not swinging at that. I got a good eye. Don't forget, I got a good eye. It may not be good all the time, but I got a 33 and a third percent chance to get that baseball for a good eye. Go, go, go. He's not going to catch that. He got it. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Jung Ho Lee with a great diving play in center field. I thought that was going to be past him for sure. All right, Bryce. I know you struggled your first at bat, but things are going to change. Bryce Harper to the moon. Santa Maria. That ball is out of here. First home run of the season for Bryce. It's a two-run shot to right field. And the Blue Jays add to their lead. I told you. I told you it was going to change. And the new addition, the youngster, Bryce Harper, gets his first home run of the year, making it 4-1 to one Blue Jays. And he got every single bit of it. Every single bit of that ball. Be it? and put it into the stands. Don Sutton, he's leaving He's leaving baseballs in very precarious situations for my big-time hitters. He might need to rethink his strategy as I almost sent another baseball to the moon. A similar pitch to what he threw with that knuckle curve against George Brett in his first at-bat. It was a hanging screwball that really... Oh, my God, called strike three. He got bailed to the city limits on that. Oh, man. I can't believe they called that a strike. That's crazy. But what I was saying was that that screwball was a similar pitch to what he threw with that knuckle curve against George Brett, which George Brett hit for a home run. So Don Sutton's being very, uh, very loose with his pitches through the first four innings of this baseball game. And Billy Williams will send that to right field. Harper giving chase. It's going to be extra bases, but how many? Just two. It is a one-out double for Billy Williams. All right. Not exactly what I wanted. Brian McCann up next. Called strike two on that one. We'll go slider and get him to swing and miss. He doesn't miss, but he does swing at it, and it's number out number two. All right. We'll take that. I guess we have to, technically. And key Brian Haynes. As long as nobody comes home to score... And maybe both of them are. Bryce Harper going after. It's not going to matter. It's a two-run shot to right field. Short porch. And Key Brian Hayes has the Angels within one. What was building to a very dominant Johan Santana outing here on opening day year number three has quickly turned the tides and become a scary situation for Johan. We need to figure this out. I mean, he was, he was cooking. But second time through the order... They're starting to figure him out. This is a little bit too early. And now Johan might have lost his confidence. It's two straight pitches for balls. Makes it 3-1 to Matt McClain. And the circle change hung up in the air, but still called a strike. Let's go curveball and hope and pray this works out. Matt McClain ties it at four. And Johan Santana has been rocked. Oh, no. The curveball hung in a bad spot. And we are getting warm here in Anaheim. A little bit earlier than I would want it. It's all tied at four. This is bad news. Real bad news. Johan Santana, what happened, big dog? You were killing it through three innings, and now all of a sudden, you can't find a location? He gets uh, Senzel on the strikeout, but to what avail? Because the, the damage has already been done. The Angels have tied it, but now we got to go back here on offense in the fifth and change the narrative. Joe Morgan, that's a deep fly ball to right field. I think that's going to get over the wall, and it will. A leadoff home run for Joe Morgan. His first home run. So the two new additions, Joe Morgan and Bryce Harper, both have home runs in their first appearances for the Blue Jays and Don Sutton might be done no they're gonna keep him in that's a risky decision 
Don Sutton has allowed five runs through four and a third. And maybe more to come. There may be more to come if he is not careful. There's the pitch. Ripken goes down and he grabbed it. Great snag by Don Sutton. Wow, that's crazy. He grabbed that really quick. He snagged that right out of the air. Can Jeff Bagwell get on base? He will pass the shortstop Jackie Robinson. And it's a one-out single for Bagwell. Radio. Frank Thomas still sitting on career home run number 598. Could he add 599? Right here. Yes, he will. Santa Maria. Frank Thomas. For the first time in a long time. Hits a home run in a played game. And that is home run number 599 in the career of the Big Hurt. Will he get to 600 in this episode? That would be fantastic. But now you got to think, do the Angels pull Don Sutton? I mean, they have to. And they do. Trevor Rogers will relieve Don Sutton here in the top of the fifth. Finally, I hit a home run with Frank Thomas. It's been, it's been forever. I don't even know. That might be the first time I did it in a played game. I hit a, a home run with Frank Thomas. It's about freaking time, man. And that is a bad swing. Strike three. McCann will send it to first base. That's poor. That's poor hitting for me. Carlos Beltran. Luckily, he's a switch hitter, so he benefits from, from this. And Carlos will send that to right field. Corbin got a bad jump, but he might still make the play. And he will. But not before the Blue Jays answer back with three of their own. Seven to four. And I'm going to give Johan the benefit of the doubt here. I think that fourth inning was just a little bit rough. He got rocked a little bit too much. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. We're going to let him go five. Maybe even six, depending on if he can bounce back. All right, the slider might not be as dangerous. Maybe they're starting to figure out Johan. The sinker, Zhang Ho Lee, sends that foul territory. Uh, maybe a circle change, possibly? And that's a strikeout. Number eight. Number eight on the day for Johan. What do we got now? We got Corbin Carroll leading off. Well, not leading off, but in the one hole. Number seven, Corbin Carroll. Stares at a one-two count. Here comes the slider. Got him. Froze him. Strike three. Number nine for Johan. Another K on the day for Mr. J. Bars. Jackie Robinson, can we strike him out as well? Three up, three down. Ooh, fouled off the sinker. Do I go circle change? Probably. Last time I went curveball, it got hit for a home run by Matt McClain. But doesn't need to go curveball because Jackie swings way out of the zone for that sinker. And Johan Santana is killing it right now. That's a that's a very good inning that gives me more confidence I can let him go another inning after. Ooh, Piazza, is that going to get through? No, Matt McClain with the recovery speed. My God. Matt McClain's got them wheels. Look at where that, that ball was placed. That's a screwball that Don Sutton threw, and he just laid it right in top, right in the meatball territory for Bryce Harper. Ooh, that's a tough play for Billy Williams, and he makes it. They were in shifting formation, and Billy had to go all the way back. That was a tough one. And now it's George Brett. George Brett already has a home run today, thanks to a meatball. And that one's going to be caught by Carroll. Yes, it is. Too hard hit. If it was a little bit softer, it probably goes down for a hit pretty easily. All right, Johan, I'm going to give you the sixth as well. He gets a quick out for Lou Gehrig. That's nice to see. That's good promise. Then we got Billy Williams. Let's get him out here. Oh, he swings and fouls off the fastball. That puts us in prime position to throw the slider. And he made contact past Joe Morgan. Base hit for Billy Williams. He's got a double and a single. He's been pretty dangerous today. But that leaves double play territory for Brian McCann. And it will be. Bagwell snags it to second. Ripken. Double play. Good job, Bagwell. Good job, Johan Santana. 
He's really recovered after that rough fourth inning. It's good to see because I was hoping not to pull him this early. <laughs> Joe Morgan already has a home run today, but he fell or he uh, didn't get enough of that one. That's kind of rough. Kind of rough going there. That's my bad, Joe. Cal Ripken's up next. Does everybody have a hit today on the team? I think everybody on the team has at least one hit. Unless, does Bo Jackson have a hit? I can't remember. I guess we'll find out when he comes up. Ooh, that's my bad. Way in front of that. I thought that was coming in a lot faster. Oopsie daisies. That was bad. Not swinging that, though. Good eye, good eye, good eye. Come on, Ripken. Nope, not going to get me. Ball four. Ripken walks. Take a base. Jeff Bagwell's up next. Come on, Bagwell. I'd love a home run from you, too. If everybody's going to get in the home run party. And Bagwell, I mean, he might have. He got a lot of that. Oh, but not enough. He sends that to left field, but Billy Williams made a good play. All right, all right. I respect it. And now it's time for Frank Thomas, who murdered a baseball the last time he was at the plate. Can he do it again for home run number 600? Frank Thomas got a piece of it, but not a lot. Come on, Frank. I really want to celebrate 600 home runs with you. Thomas, no, it's not going to happen on that attempt. He might get one more, depending on how the next couple innings go. He might get one more attempt at number 600. If not, he's just going to simulate through it when we simulate the month of April. He'll hit his 600 home run, which is kind of annoying. I want to do it on camera, but I mean, I got to be able to hit the home run to do it on camera, and I just I missed that one. It's kind of surprising I hit the first one. I wasn't expecting to. Key Brian Hayes leading off for the Angels. Fouls off the circle change. He's doing a good job of battling against Johan, who probably is now going to be done after the 7th. He made it through the struggles, and he might be done before the 7th if he lets, he lets a couple more hits go. Key Brian Hayes leadoff single. McLean has a home run. McLean. Stares at a fastball ball three. Full count to McLean. Here comes the slider. Gets it. Bagwell. I threw it to second. <laughs> but it's a nice grab by Bagwell right to him for the first out. And now Senzel, if you could hit a double play, that'd be perfect. Fouls off the first pitch. Making it 1-2. I'll go slider low in the intentions of a ground ball. Doesn't swing at it. Okay. So we'll go sinker down low. Please hit a ground ball. He fouled it off. Might even be off his ankle. Who knows? Circle change for a ground ball. Nope. It's a strikeout. Really bad swing from Nick Senzel. Had to have been sitting on something else. 11th strikeout for Johan. Called strike two on Jung Ho Lee. And we'll go back to that patented slider. Doesn't chase. Jung Ho Lee is one of those guys that's not chasing that slider. He might have chased in the first inning, but he's learned. He has definitely learned. So we'll go circle change. And he fouls that off as well. Okay, back to the slider. Back to the slider. Got him on that time. Number 12 for Johan, and his day is going to be done. But it's not without a great performance. Struggled slightly in the fourth inning. We're going to sit down John Smoltz. We're going to warm up. Raleigh Fingers, and we're going to warm up Felix Batista. All right, Bo Jackson, he does have a hit, so I'm pretty sure everybody's got a hit then. Unless, does Beltron? Beltron might not. Actually, it says up there on the on the big board, it says that Beltron does have a hit, but uh, Piazza doesn't have a hit yet. That's the guy that doesn't have a hit, so hopefully this time he can. We're obviously going to go bottom nine because unless tragic thing happens in the bottom of the eighth, the Angels have the bottom of the ninth to try to win the game still. So we're obviously going, oh my god, that could be another home run. Carlos Beltran got a lot of it. Carlos Beltran back at the warning track. Gone! 8-4. to four. Santa Maria. Beltran with number one on the season. A guy that I've struggled to hit with for most of the time he's been on the team. Finally getting on the board. All right, Piazza. Everybody else is getting in the hit party. You... Need to as well. And that could be back-to-back. -back. Piazza. Oh, he didn't get enough of it. Didn't get enough of it. Just barely missed. And Piazza looks like he's going to be the only guy who's not going to get a hit today. That's kind of unfortunate because he's been... He's had some chances. Harper 
Got a rip on that, but Jung Ho Lee's probably going to make a play. No, it's a home run! Bryce Harper, number two! Santa Maria! What is happening with Bryce Harper? Proving all of that money was well spent. Bryce Harper, home run number two, dead center field. I'm liking this team. And that was just a straight line. Like, there wasn't much arc to that baseball at all. Jonathan Loisega comes in. Okay. It's 9-4 to four Blue Jays. This has been a pretty fun game in terms of hitting home runs. I don't usually hit this many home runs in our games. <laughs> you know that. You see in, these, uh, see in my videos, you know I don't hit a lot of home runs. Unless we play a full game. I get lucky sometimes. Ooh, why'd I swing at that? I'm bad. I'm terrible. I'm ugly. Oh, that was a rough one for George Brett. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to. But more home runs is very good. I forgot to uh, schedule them to put in. So we'll bring in Raleigh Fingers. Let's finger some people. Corbin Carroll leads off. Doesn't chase the sinker? How do you not chase that sinker 1-2? That's kind of wild. The greatest mustache maybe in all of baseball history, is now pitching in Toronto, and we'll see if we can get Corbin Carroll out here. 2-2, two -two, fork ball. You don't see a lot of fork balls in baseball anymore. But Raleigh got Corbin. And now it's Jackie Robinson. We obviously have the other Jackie Robinson on our team. He stares at a fastball 2-1. Another fastball. He gets a piece of it. Ripken fields on the first tough throw, but he's got him. Out number two. And now it's time for Lou Gehrig. Nine to four. Here's the one one. Gehrig. Grounder. Morgan. On to first. Inning over. Beautifully executed by Raleigh Fingers. And we are going to sit down Felix Batista. And we don't need Mariano Rivera to come in. So we're going to warm up Mr. Goose. It's going to be Chase a Goose here in the ninth. 2-1 to Morgan. We have a chance to get Frank Thomas number 600. I really hope it'll happen. I really just want that to happen here for him. Morgan, grounder, second base. McLean makes the grab. He's got him. Out number one. Now it's time for Cal Ripken Jr. All right, Cal. Give me another base hit. Give me another base knock. Not going to do it. McLean pretty active in this inning. And now it's time for Bagwell. All right, Bagwell. I just need you to get on base. Give Frank Thomas one more chance at 600 in today's episode. Bagwell. It could be a home run. Jeff Bagwell, warning track. Off the glove of Jung Ho Lee and out of here. Jeff Bagwell has number one on the day for him. It's 10 to four, Blue Jays lead here in the ninth. It was out of the, it was off the glove of Jung Ho Lee. He made it a home run. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. That is unfortunate. And now we have one more chance for Frank the Tank Thomas, the big hurt, to get number 600 in a played game. Otherwise, it's going to come in simulation. And I would prefer to happen when we are live. Come on, Frank. Come on. No, no, I didn't swing. You clearly saw me not swing. Thank you. It's 3 -1. Don't walk me. If anything, I'd rather take a strikeout because I don't want I don't want to get on base without having a home run. No, he's going to walk me. Come on, Loisega. Well, Frank Thomas will have to hit his 600th home run in simulation. Kind of upsetting. Kind of upsetting that it's going to happen. But that's the way it is. I screwed up earlier in the game and didn't get him a home run earlier. So that's my bad. It is my bad, especially with the meatballs that Don Sutton was throwing. Jackson Faltiep. On the circle change. Can we add more to this very impressive opening day? 
No. Oh, it's not strike three. You called the other one not strike three earlier on Frank. That was almost the same exact situation. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But the goose is coming in. Goose Gossage. Let's get this game over with. Bottom nine. Billy Williams leads off. He's been a tough guy for me to get out today. Two for three. I've been struggling. But we'll see if I can get the job done. Strike three. No. Called a check swing. Doesn't go. I guess we just have to do it the hard way. I was hoping he would swing. That was, that was his cue to swing and miss. But he didn't. So here comes the changeup. And it's ball number four. That's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate because Billy Williams just continues to be one of those guys that I can't keep off of the base. 1-2 to McCann. Change up. Brett, you got a shot at it. Oh, this is going to be tough for him. George Brett. Ah, oh, it was just out of reach. The slurve. McCann sends that to left field. Bo Jackson won't get it. This could be an RBI. Get that ball in, Bo. They're going to send him around. No, they don't send him. They hold him at third, which is probably the right idea. He would have been tagged, I would I would think. But Goose Gossage, what are we doing here, big boy? That's going to be an RBI single. Oh, we didn't even get the out. Oh, we did. Okay, we tagged him last second. Thank God Key Brian Hayes is slow. But it's an RBI for Key Brian Hayes regardless. Goose Gossage, you need to chill out, big dog. What are we doing here? Let's figure this crap out. Matt McLean also been a tough guy to get out today. I shouldn't say that. He only has the one home run. <laughs> Every other time we've gotten him out. Uh, but we can't walk him here. I don't want to walk two guys in the inning. But we're going to walk two guys in the inning. Okay, Goose. Uh, let's let's not do that. Please. Do I have to warm up Vita Blue? Nick Senzel. Good double play. Morgan to Cal. On to first. Blue Jays win. That's a good way to defend our crown here in season three. And a good outing from Johan Santana. Kind of struggled in a kind of just like weird one-off inning in that fourth where he just got crushed. Other than that, he performed really, really well. Had what, 12 strikeouts, 11 strikeouts, something like that. Something pretty awesome. And all in all, pretty good day. Pretty good day for Johan Santana. Had 12 strikeouts. Bryce Harper is the, uh, the MVP of the game because he had those two homers. Which is not what I expected from Bryce, but I'm glad that it happened. That's for sure. Alright, big win to start the season, but let's actually like get some more of those. So there's another one. Randy Johnson's got a shutout going, and we get a win. We get a win. And now we've got down or up by two. Bagwell needs a triple for the cycle. Has has uh Frank Thomas hit that 600 home run. Frank Thomas only has one home run still. He needs if once he has two on the on the thing, then he will have hit his. We will know he hits his his uh, 600. And we swept the Angels to start the season. That's pretty good. But the Astros come back and beat us there, unfortunately. But we get another one. That was a 14 to 12 game. Okay, Thomas must have done something there. No, he still only has one home run. We are still waiting for the elusive 600th home run. Can we finish out the, seri the series of the victory? Cal Ripken has an injury, but we win. Okay. We're 6-1 and one in the season. Let's keep it going. Keep it rolling. We win again. We win again. And it's scouting assignment day. We are 8-1. and one. And Frank Thomas, he's done it. Frank Thomas has home run number 600 and 601 on the season congratulations to him and carlos beltran's hitting 444 on the year all of our guys are hitting well except for Bo. Bo's the only one who's not hitting over like two oh and joe morgan's not hitting very well but everybody else is hitting really well really well crazy good and obviously the pitching rotation i mean joe Yon santana's got a crazy high era everybody really has a crazy high era but pedro pedro's got a crazy good uh season stat line right now and the scouting i don't even know if we have any draft picks to be fair we have one again. So last year we had one draft pick. This year we have one draft pick. But this time it's not very high. It is pick number 30 because we won the World Series. So we got to be very, very particular in who we scout. 
So let's go all the way down to the guys that most likely will be available to us. And we'll start scouting these guys. Alright, this is always the tricky part because you never know who's going to get taken and who's not going to get taken. So we'll scout those three guys, might as well. And let's keep going into April. Beltron's got his 12-game hitting streak. I mean, Beltron might be the, the MVP of the year right now. I mean, he's having a killer season. And we're dominating. I can't, be I can't believe we lost that first game to the Astros. because we Oh, Beltron, just as I talk about how crazy good of a year he's having, he's out for two to three months with a torn ligament in his finger. Oh, that's brutal for him. It does give Joe DiMaggio the chance to play, but that is brutal for Beltron. He's been having such a good year. Oh, that's crazy. I mean, look at this season. He's hitting 431, slugging 784. He was dominating right now, and now he's going to be cooled off like crazy. That's crazy. Unbelievable. But we are kind of dominating right now. I didn't know I built such a dominant squad, but I guess I have. We got this man already up to 100%. Let's go. Let's keep looking for other people here. Uh, maybe we go for this dude right here, possibly. Let's go for BJ Harnett. Har Harnett? Harnett? I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Ooh, we finally pick up another loss. Only our second loss of the season. Luckily, we don't make it a habit. We are killing teams right now. It is so cool. Another loss to the Twins, though. Oh, over six months for Derek Martins. That's not good. And Jarcarlo Stanton picks up an injury. Blue Jays get another victory. We're going in Cincinnati now. 24-1? to what? 24-1 to in Cincinnati? Home runs from Joe Morgan, two from Bagwell, Bo Jackson, Piazza, and Harper. Triples from Joe Morgan and George Brett. Two doubles from George Brett. Wait, did George Brett hit the, the cycle? Did George Brett just have a cycle? How many? Where's he at? He had five hits. No, he had three hits. Darn it. He had three hits. He had five at-bats. He had three hits. So he had the home run, the triple, and the double. Darn you, Brett. You were a, the easiest one away from a stinking cycle, and you didn't get it. Oh, we lose to the Reds there. Another scouting assignment day. Uh, we'll keep these guys all going. And we won. So we are 19 and 4 right now. 19 and 4. 20 and 4. Piazza's injured, but only for a little bit. We keep on winning. Bechtold's injured. We get another win, 6 to 5. Oh, finally another loss. We might as well just finish up the, the month of April and we'll start the next episode. We get that guy all up to 100%, so we'll keep scouting. Let's scout uh, that dude. Uh, and we'll keep going there. Okay, perfect. Keep on moving. Giancarlo is still injured. Another victory. A lot of injuries happening right now. Dodgers win. Okay, Dodgers win again. Blue Jays win 10 nothing, so a little bit tricky, but we do move into May. What a dominant start to the year, 25-7. and seven. I mean, to be fair, the Yankees are also having quite the year, but we're just having such a better year that we are a game ahead of them. So it could be us versus the Yankees for the division, although the Red Sox are not that much out of it. The rotation's kind of doing well. Bob Gibson, as always, is killing it. Jose Fernandez dominating. Everybody's doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy with this lineup right now, this rotation. Uh, and then, obviously, the regular lineup. Joe Morgan needs to raise his, his average up a little bit more. Joe DiMaggio struggling since replacing uh, Carlos Beltran, who was having a killer season. And right now, Bagwell's got 12 home runs, 9 for Thomas, 10 for Bo Jackson, 10 for Piazza and Harper. So we got guys that are producing lots of home runs. Love to see it. Uh, but that's going to do it for the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much. Stop by and watch. I truly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.